Hello and welcome to the outside of the studio QLab tutorial section. So I'm uh, going to a little bit bigger of space today because I need to show you how you can actually control lighting and physically speak to each lighting device without MIDI, without a console. No DMX controllers, nothing like that. QLab is going to control all of your lighting directly. It's mind blowing. It's amazing. It saves a ton of money and it's really, really good for small touring shows like the one I had 22 theaters this year. 22 theaters, no programming lights in any of those venues. This saved my life. Um, I'm going to apologize to you right now for the very bad audio quality. As you can probably hear, it's extremely echoey and it's because I'm in my second living room here in my house, which has 24 foot ceilings. So of course you get this really bad Ricola sound, but it's perfect to show you how to actually use lighting because we're going to be using two different types of lights today. One, this very cheap, low quality light, which is perfect for a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, very affordable. I wouldn't use it on my stages unless I want to put lights facing the audience, but uh, it shows you how you can use DMX, which looks like a little mic cable right there, to control your lighting directly. Now people say, okay, you can turn lights on and off and change colors, but you would never want to use QLab to control moving lights. I sort of agree. If you're in a big theater with 40 or 60 moving heads, programming them on a QLab directly without a professional console, the lighting designer is going to want to kill you. <laughs> However, if you're doing your own show with your own lights, yes, you can take an extra hour in your living room, like I'm doing today, to program the lights you want and the, and the cues you want, and when you get to the venue, everything's perfect. All you'll need to do is adjust the locations of your moving heads if you need precise locations, which is very, very easy to do. So I'm going to show you in this venue right now with this back wall here how it's possible to actually line up lights and have them aim. We're going to be using two lights. We're going to be using a Chauvet Color Strip Mini, which is just perfect for lighting up backdrops or doing some down washes or just having stuff for like if you do a snow routine and you want lights coming underneath you. This is what I actually use for that show. Uh, perfect for in the lobby as well. QLab can control your lobby. Remember that. I'm going to teach you about OSC later where one QLab computer can fire a second QLab computer hundreds and hundreds of thousands of feet away by using Wi-Fi, which is OSC, open sound control um, protocol, and basically you're going to be able to fire your, your lighting in your lobby. So when it's time for intermission, all your lights come up nice and bright. When it's time for the second half, they all change or they flash or they do announcement. These are perfect for lobbies. These are perfect for facing the audience. I wouldn't suggest these low, um, low budget lights for proper stage lighting on big stages. Small stages, they'll do just fine. We'll talk about those details later. Right now, I'm going to show you how to plug them in. But when it comes to moving lights, I have a baby. Yes, it's a baby. Uh, it is a very tiny light. Once again, not good for um, major theatrical lighting. This is not for that. But the principles on how to control it are exactly the same. These are great for on the floor of the stage, uh, facing the audience, getting some cool effects going, uh, but you don't have the, the amount of control you'd have on a, on a full-size moving head. Uh, and Chauvet does make some awesome products uh, in that moving head, but this is actually a uh, StarTech Stinger Spot. Now, the cool thing about this is that about, I don't know, I'm going to guess here, about 80% of lights have already been imported into the QLabs library, which means this little tiny light has actually been ready designed for you in QLab. So let's go show you step by step how we're going to plug these in and get full control. Let's do it. 